Okay, so what comes in the AstroView 6 EQ? You get the tripod, the German equatorial mount, two slow motion controls, the weights, the weight bar, the spotting scope, a tray for the tripod, and the optical tube assembly. Setting up the tripod is very straightforward. You should be able to see an end on one of the legs. It's got this tab sticking up. That's for north. Simply open the legs up. Bring the tray in. Set it on. You've got three wing nuts, wing bolts, that go in from the bottom. I'm going to put the equatorial mount on next. I'll show you a couple things with it. Here in the base, you get this section right here and the two bolts. That is where that tab that comes up off the, the uh, mount, off the tripod, that's where that fits in. You also have what came standard was a polar alignment scope. Let's see if you can see in there. Putting the gem on is pretty straightforward. Like I said, you've got this section right here with the two bolts that need to fit right on this tab. If it doesn't want to go down at first, you might need to loosen the bolts up so you get the room. There's a bolt underneath to clamp it to the tripod. Next we're going to put on the slow motion control knobs. The one thing I don't like about these is you have to use a screwdriver. The screwdriver is provided, but I like the uh, thumb screws that came on the Celestrons. It's simply a matter of sliding it on, aligning the screw with the, there's an indent in the, where you connect it and make it tight. Next we want to put the weight rod on, the counterbalance arm. It's got a safety bolt down here. It's got this piece that Now it's time for the counterbalances. Remove the toe saver, foot saver from the bottom. You'll need to figure out what's appropriate for you. For me, the smaller weight goes about halfway up. 
larger weight gets placed at the bottom. Don't forget to put the toe saver on there. Because if this comes loose and your foot's near it, it'll probably manage to land on. Now for mounting the OTA on the mount itself, make sure your locks are in place. To me, this right here is the biggest mistake that Orion made with this mount. Because unless you really loosen the retaining bolt and the safety bolt up, you can't just set it down in. And when you go to slide it in, if you don't have it really loose, This bolt that sticks out will catch. Okay, I've got these bolts loosened up just enough so I can put the tube on. Just try and show you a little bit what I meant. So you can put it in. doesn't really slide easily and when you're coming out you often need to loosen a little bit more now all they would have needed to done to make this a very efficient uh, mount is just to have countersunk these bolts and made these bolts for adjusting the tilt within the within the mount a little bit shorter. Okay, so now I've got the bolts loosened up, so I can just set it in. And tighten it, tighten down the mount, the uh, locking bolt and the safety bolt. final item we've got to install is the finder scope. It has two thumb screw knobs for use for aligning it with the OTA. This third knob is actually spring loaded. I'm not taking mine apart because I've got it aligned. Uh, you slide the, the tube into the mount You'll need to pull down a little bit on here on this spring-loaded one to permit it to slide on in and there's a groove that this fits into and also this applies constant pressure to the tube as the third point for your alignment. And you simply place it into the dovetail mount that comes on the OTA and tighten it down.